Hey guys and welcome back to part 3 of Life is Strange. We are back today with another episode. Um, little cut but we're going to pretty much carry on where the last episode uh, left off. Uh, we're in Max's room and we're going to go in hunt of the flash drive that Dana seems to have. Um, but guys I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Can't get out now Dana, so tell me the truth or rotten there. We're jumping straight in by the looks of it. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let's go see what's Get going on. What? Hey. Hey, Juliet. Is everything what? cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. All right, bitch. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Isn't Juliet Olsen like someone famous? <laughs> Fuck knows, Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. Uh, let me go back. By the way, Juliet Watson. Go on, hit the rewind. This would be such a great superpower in real life. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Mac. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Be nice, bitch. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of you course I do. Ridiculous. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? You Victoria Chase. Great. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. All right. Answer, you wuss. Let's go, Snoop. Let me in, bitch. I wanted to, like, kick the door down. Yeah, her room's kind of cool, you know. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Sp Final I fantasy. bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Yeah, I ain't reading all of that shit. What else we got? Um, poster? Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Your work is not Unlike compatible. Me, Savage. She's uh -huh. actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Vic. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson from 2009. Let's check the tablet. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. 3600 quid. You got way too much cash. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Wow, what a bitch. How do I print it, though? She's got a printer. Oh, how do I print it? Oh, shit, there was another option. Print. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Nope, that is the wrong button. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. Oh. 
This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I just want my flash drive, bitches. Hey, oh, let her Juliet, out. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, Almost just done. seeing everyone's Get the flash room. drive, and then I'll go see Warren. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Pregnancy that test. That looks like a home pregnancy test. <laughs> I feel like we definitely shouldn't take it, but... Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. That was obviously going to happen, but... Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I should. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, so she, her, uh, Logan, and Dana did the did the, did the thing. <laughs> Good lord, Dana really was on her own. Hey, Dana. To Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I don't want to say I heard a rumor about you. That's Poor an awful Juliet thing gets to say. Rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Go on, Max. You've pulled on his computer. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Let's grab the flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> Warren. Let's go meet Warren. Warren's a good guy. We like him. Making some good progress today, though, guys. Hope you are enjoying this uh, this game so far. It's something different, I have to say. I'm determined to finish it this time, though. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I you better dickhead. rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any fuck this shit. Oi, none of that. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Huh. <laughs> 
Thanks, but we're not friends. Cool, man. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, I don't like him. No, and leave me alone. Ooh, I don't know. We can always double hey, back. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. That's fine, dickhead. Oh, Max. That was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Not even gonna rewind. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. So Maybe obviously, I rewind and mind my own business. With a lot of them, you can go back and see like the other, um, like what the other option would do. Feels a little bit cheaty, so I might do it at some points, um, but a lot of the time I'm just going to stick with my original decision. Because, I mean, either way it's going to have consequences. Like, if we didn't step in, then, uh, what's her name, Kate, something might have happened to her. There's Warren. I think he's in the yellow pickup. I know he's not. Don't know why I remember the yellow pickup. I'm glad I stepped in that time. I don't can't care. stand to see people being exactly bullied. Before you do that to me. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. Go on, Max, you around, stud. Max. Come on then, Warren. Come on over here, please. Don't be desperate, Too my guy. Those posters will be trashed and ignored. Come on then. And there's Warren. Did he? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Oh. Thanks. No problem. Okay. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978, to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that... Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, drama queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. A little bit flirty. Oh, I, I don't want to say it, but I'm going to. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. 
Hmm. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone what tries, page? though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step Take back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oi. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the no. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! He's completely insane. Completely and utterly insane. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Reunited. Oh, thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. Ah, oh, she missed it. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. Nah, no, I don't like so him. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Ah, oh, she... Chloe's kind of cool. Broken? Oh man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Mm -hmm. Welcome home, Max. Yeah. 
we home? And that seems like a very good place to end this episode, guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this part of Life is Strange, and I hope you're enjoying our walkthrough of this game. Um, if you haven't already, guys, check out the channel. There's been loads of shorts being uploaded. Um, they're very easy to watch, and they really help me out. Um, so if you haven't already seen them, check them out, and I hope you are enjoying the main walkthrough videos on the channel. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is it from me. I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.